Dosing pumps, dosing solution. I gotta say, this is like all over everything. What's the, the, the juice here? So, very clearly a dosing pump, but here's where some of the magic sauce is. When okay. you lift this up, you see down in here that we have some scales. Do you see how sensitive? If you watch our, our app. But it's giving me milliliters for weight. Based on density, um, you input the, right now we only have the ELOS chemicals in here. Okay. And we know the density of our ELOS chemicals, how, how many grams are in each milliliter. And so that way we know exactly when a gram is being dosed, how many milliliters that equates to. So why not do this with calibration for a dosing pump and let's say keep it simple? So the biggest thing with that, um, is sometimes dosing pumps, the lines can start to get clogged. Mm -hmm. You need to calibrate regularly. Mm -hmm. um, if anybody is as bad at it as I am, I kind of don't do it as often as I should. Sure. Um, so this is constantly calibrating for you. It's all done off weight, and they're translating that into how many mils you're dosing. So it's, I would guess, very precise. Up to 0.1 milliliters. This is called the Dosatron. Okay. This is the Pezotron. Pezzo in Italian is weight. Okay. So that's where that comes from. It comes with the three chemicals. Okay. This bag can fill one of these 20 times. 20 times. So is, would you make like a gallon of this and then just empty it into your container? That's what you'd like to do. Okay. Yep. And then the test gets with it as well. Yep. And 40 tests per kit. Okay. So we're manually testing and putting the data that the software is learning our tank and we know if something is actually getting done. Now, can we use any solution with these? So there's two options. There is an artificial intelligence built into this where it's actually learning about your tank. Okay. And that is using just ELOS right now. Okay. We hope maybe some other people would be willing to let us put their stuff in the app. Okay. But anybody, there's a manual option. Anybody can input the numbers that they already know. Okay. Use a calculator. Sure. As long as you it. know the density, then you can use it. Yeah. Is this the final product that I'm looking at here? No, so this is our prototype. We just wanted to make sure that people were going to like this. So it's all based off density. There's software. Is this an app thing where I can use it on my phone? So this is iOS and Android. It should be coming out sometime this week on the App Store. Okay. Um, all artificial intelligence. So it actually, the more tests you put in, okay. the smarter it gets. So if you're putting in a test every week, it's making adjustments every week. Okay. If you're putting in a test every single day, it says, all right, your consumption is changing. We need to change the amount that's dosing. So I'm manually testing, inputting the data into the app, and then it's seeing how much my tank is consuming and dosing based off of that. Yeah. So it's super simple, in your case, more accurate, no calibration needed. Even if the line gets all the way clogged, it's no, it's not dosing. You're going to get an error to your phone. I was going to say that we know when the line is clogged as opposed to we calibrated it by chance. Because mm -hmm. as you said, not everyone does that and we figure out things are off. Most dosing pumps, they say dose 200 mils a day. You don't know if it actually did that or not. It's dosing based on the time. Right, just on time. Yeah. This is based off of weight, so you actually know if that's happening. Mm -hmm. If the tube gets popped off, it's going to tell you, hey, the scale isn't moving. Definitely not something I would have thought of, but it makes a lot of sense. And it's great that you guys are thinking outside the box. Again, we're looking at a prototype. All this can change. But we've seen it here first in Macna. I have not seen any dosing approach based on weight. I'll keep an eye on it.